Technique, Jimmy. Problem with the language. Huh? Yeah. Every time I asked for a half in the boozer, they gave me a whiskey. Well, you couldn't your blessings, Jimmy. Every time I'm in London and ask for a half, I get a beer. Never got home last night. Well, where did he go? You know what he's like. Well, what can he be working on up here that we wouldn't know about? The greatest enigma of them all. What does a Scotsman wear under his kilt? Porridge. See me, see my grandfather, see porridge. Used to make it in a big iron pot every Saturday night. When it was cool enough, he waited to get cold, and he cut it into slices. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Slice for every day in the week. And uh, what day of the week have I got here? Oh, don't worry about that, son. We've moved on since then. We get it imported fresh for Hong Kong. <laughs> see you, see me. <laughs> I think you've been sent up. Hello. Here comes another victim of island hospitality. Breathe there a man with soul so dead, who never to himself hath said, never again, I breathe in the head. Who do I punch? Well, I suppose ultimately the blame lies at the door of that little American chap who writes books about money. Ah, that boss. I wish I had him here. Be lucky if all he got was a split infinitive. You're jumping the gun, Jack. You reckon? The Home Office has denied that intercity is to be axed. Well, my old alcoholic headmaster at Postle Park used to tell us in the civics class, never believe a rumor until it's been officially denied. <laughs> we had no such delicious pragmatism at Harrow. <laughs> Let's see, um, what's the smart money in Whitehall seeing? You're for the chop. Bloody great. It all boils down to old Lord Bryce Norton. Never heard of him. He's a sort of grey eminence. The only man the PM will listen to. Make a meet. He's abroad. And no one knows when or indeed if he's coming back. Someone's pointing the bone at us. Well, whatever Intercity achieved or didn't achieve, at least it got George Bullman moved up to Chief Inspector. Don't drink that! Definitely not a good year, Mr. Bullman. I've got this dream, Willie. You walk into a hotel bedroom and I listen the ear holes agape to you confessing to a terminal case of granny bashing. The Queen Mum, maybe. Something that gets you five long ones to run consecutive. <laughs> hey, I read in the morning sheets that you are about to become redundant. You're making me an offer? All the sweeties you can eat. Plus a new pair of gloves every Christmas. Up yours. <sighs> Take you to lunch. <clears throat> no, I haven't got time, will you? Come on. You don't pick up Fergus until three o'clock. Yeah. Who told you that? Mr. Bowman. This is my town. Where the hell are we going? A training session. Got your own private army, have you? 
Now that's what you call a leading question, Mr. Vilma. There it is. The home of Partick Thistle Football Club. I thought Partick Thistle was only a musical joke. You want to wise up, Mr. Vilma. Oh, sure, the punters used to say, don't turn up early to watch Partick or you might find yourself in the team. But these days are gone. Mm. More of a Crystal Palace man myself. I hear they might be playing in Europe next year. If they can write a song in time. Let's go! Cassam! Come here. Morning, Mr. Morkelin. I hear you were on song last night. You've been reading the newspapers? Yeah, but who is it on Saturday? Rangers, Ibrox. Come on, come on, you're not uh, chosen yet. The bears will eat you. Well, that'll be right. This is Mr. George Bullman, an old friend of mine. Business rival. Mr. Bullman is Fuzz from London. This is Tarsam Sarda. The fans call him tiresome. Sometimes they're right. What? Did I say something wrong? You didn't used to be stupid, Ramila. I'm not stupid in first my class, even in English. I asked you not to go out, didn't I? This place stinks of paint. Why in God's name did you have to go to the park? I like the park. My mother used to take me there. Every Indian mother in Glasgow takes their children to the park. So what? So somebody could easily have recognised you. Who's this? I let myself in. Where's the living lover? Training. This is his sister, Ramila. I'm not sure this is my scene, Flint. You promised! Well, I half promised. I'm getting an exhibition ready for Edinburgh. Show him. Let Shaggy see why you're here. Well? I'll do what you want. What do you think of it, Mr. Billman? Price must have cost you a few bob, will he? Everything is of the best. See the dinner services in the pots here? Had them specially made for me. A fella called Shuggy Dawson. Magic. Piss or get off the pot, Monklin? You're not going to get Ferguson back to London. The whole picture, will he? They're saying that Ferguson has done a deal. They're saying that Ferguson is going to sing. So Ferguson will never reach the smoke. What about Ferguson's fellow travellers? They'll just have to take their chances. Is that it? That's your lot. Right, I'll get the bill. Wait up. It's on me. No, 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 never, never. No offence, Willie, but you know how it is. Three meals are dangerous. Come here. That uh, little speck of garnered fruit that by and by will make the music mute. <laughs> Get up, Bob, but... Mr. Billman. Yeah? Make sure you're tooled up for this trip. It's out of the question. What's your thinking, sir? You don't think you might be overreacting in this instance, Chief Inspector? No, sir. You see, basically all police forces face the same problems. Where they differ is in the methods they employ to deal with these problems. What's wrong with our methods, sir? We find them rather precipitate. Just a bunch of bleeding cowboys, is that us, eh? As far as recourse to firearms is concerned, yes. In my view, this does serious damage to our image as, uh, as a responsible law-maintaining body. Right. I want my request logged, sir with your reasons for refusing it. Certainly. And if you're nervous of Ferguson, as you appear to be, we'll lay on back up. A car and two men of our support unit. Armed, oh, sir? Of course not. Then they're no bleeding use to me, are they? They'd be better employed rounding up all them dangerous nine-year-old glue sniffers roaming Sucky Hall Street. Any prizes for guessing what it is? Come on, I'll buy the coffee. Last of the big bleeding spenders, that's you, Galbraith. Planning department painted itself into a corner. No, private venture. 
Guy's ambition was bigger than his bank balance. <laughs> After every World Cup, they throw the Scottish team manager off it. You're a bloody English nationalist. Come on, time we met your governor. What the hell's wrong with you? That man. What about him? Well, he keeps staring. Could be a fan. He's fuzz from London. So what? As far as I know, the border hasn't been closed at Carlisle. Ramila. Ramila's safe. Shaggy Dawson's taken her to his place near Drimmon. Suppose my father went to the court was in London. Your old man knows he might end up in the pokey if he did that. And characters who maltreat children get a rough time in the pokey. Look, I can't stand you sitting there twitching at me piss off. And if this guy follows you out, then we can start making plans to flee the country. Hey, Tiresome. Somebody wants to see you. Running with nervous Nelly. Yeah, he's well named. Yeah, it's a joke cop. Political. Came up through admin. Yeah, we've got him too. You asked for this last night. Uh, what is it? The first 36 verses of the ball of Kerimur. Get your bleeding hair cut. You get cows and sheep as well, Shuggy? No, only a few hens. Oh, hey, careful. Mind your feet there. You're getting covered in instant omelette. Better put the eggs, Shuggy. There's two bowls on the table there. Two of the eggs is cracked. We'll put them in the wee bowl. Oh, you're not just a pretty face, then, eh? Arts Council exhibition in Edinburgh. Who's an Arts Council? Now there's a question no artist has ever been able to answer. This is your patch, Galbraith, right? Right. So, what's Willie Mocklin up to? Eh? Well, it's all down to the way the city's changing. Like building bridges that go nowhere. The city's evolving into sophistication. And so is the city's crime. Exactly. We never had any organised crime up here. Not really. It was all OK Corral stuff. Not anymore, though. Now the hard men go around with teams of accountants and lawyers. I'm beginning to see something through this Scotch mist. Willie Mocklin's fighting off a takeover bid, right? You've marked your card right. Who's in the ring with him? A packy named Bose. How are you, Tarzan? Your father phoned me this morning from London. I don't hear you asking how he is. Well, maybe that's because I don't give a bugger whether he lives or dies. He is anxious about your sister. Oh, aye. I can just see him with his pocket calculator, working out how much her marriageable value is decreasing with every minute she's away. Where is she, Tarzan? She's safe. That is not the answer I wanted. Ah. We don't always get what we want. I do. It would be a great loss to Scottish football if you never played again. I didn't quite miss Ferguson. Why? 
What a unique personality. Yeah, killed 18 people. Yeah, that we know of. Yeah, then talks about it like a surgeon talks about an operation. Real professional. Give me the money, show me the target. Yeah, man, woman or child. And a craft champion. Oh, I can see I'm in the minority here. Excuse me, George. Inspector Bowman. Yeah? Prisoner ready, sir. Right. Proper charmer, isn't he? It's very couth, not to mention kempt. Yeah, he doesn't like us English much. He told me that the most powerful weapon the English invented was the double-barreled name. Chief Inspector Bowman. Yeah. Are you saying he was the person to whom the prisoner is assigned? Um, did you say, um, to whom? It's grammatically correct, sir. George, the prisoner, Helen Ferguson. Now. I was engaged to a boy from Peebles once. What happened? I broke it off. And his arms. And his legs. Your pal's a dirty wee middle. <laughs> You're not taking the A74 then? Nah, it's too obvious. I thought a celebrity like me would have rated at least a shuttle flight. We're on the A721. I know. North of Bigger, you get onto the A702 for Carlisle. Oh, you approve? No skin off my ass. I'm not going that far. Chief, we've got a blue shadow. Been there about ten minutes. You're getting jumpy. Lee Mocklin was right. Should be tooled up. Waking me when my pals open up with their armor lights. Hey, Tyson, what chance do you think you've got against the Rangers if you're frightened of a wee electric drill? wasn't bluffing. That's exactly what he was doing. You know nothing about Glasgow, do you? Oh, I. I was only born and brought up here. The punters watched Bose go from a smelly wee shop in Argyle Street in five years. The punters lived in the slum property he bought. They paid his disgusting rents. You know all about the home improvement grants used for anything but improving homes. Helped by white lawyers. Helped by white lawyers. They knew that too. But they put up with it. They maybe even admired Bose for putting one over on them. Glasgow partners are mugs. Maybe so. But tell them somebody's used an electric drill on a young football player, and they'll queue up to shop. Maybe even luncheon. Where are you going? To phone Shuggy. It'll be too late. You're never going to be a great player, Tarson. You lack what the sports writers call character. Oh, George, where are you speaking from? What are you doing there? Oh, he's lost Ferguson. What? Hijacked? On the A721? I see. What? Willis is in dock with a broken leg. Hey, Bennett, uh, how's she, George? Oh, come on. Surely she must have been raped at least once. Oh, you'll tell me what you're going to do, will you? Let me tell you what you've done. You've almost certainly destroyed any chance this department's got of escaping the axe. You've made us the laughing stock of every force in the country. You've given a boost to every villain in the land. You're stupid, inefficient, careless, cocky and as thick as the rim of a chamber pot. You've been all these things, and you still are, and I wouldn't be surprised if you're bloody bent as well. Get me 
a phosphate octid life score. Uh, we'll do. You, um... I'm leaving you in charge of the show. We'll do. Uh, uh, you... uh, what are you trying to say? Well, I don't think you should have said that about him being bent. Piss off. Let me have my first coronary in peace, eh? Is Tarzan OK? Oh, come on, that's a bit strong, Flick. Hey, look, if what you're saying is true, I better hang up. Yeah, I'll talk to you again. Who was that? Flick. What did you have to say? We're going to have visitors. What about Ferguson, then? How about Ferguson? Well, that city lot must feel like a right lot of tubes. Yeah, it could be right. I wonder where Ferguson is now. Who knows? Could be at the bottom of the Clyde, where her knickers filled with 56 weights. You reckon? At the time I've gone to press. You know something? What? Nobody in Scotland could throw a better pot than Shuggy Dust. Look at that. OK, what's all this crap about you two being police officers? What makes you think we're not? Well, firstly, coppers don't wear handmade shoes. And secondly? Tarzan Sardar phoned me to expect you. So you can throw away your equity cards. Where is she? She's not here. We'll look around. Go ahead. Oh, by the way, you haven't got much time. We've got as much time as you... Shut need. up! Explain yourself, friend. The little cops drop in here for a can of beer every night. You've got about 45 minutes. Is my car here? Yes, it's, 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 it's. I want to see you in the morning. Nine o'clock sharp. Bloody sharp. Anyone? An interesting face. You might tell that to the wrong people. Hey, look. Who's... Hey! You're a smart ass, Dawson. Hey! Oh, what did the quack say then? Took one look at me leg and said, beautiful. Big deal, I get that all the time. So we don't have to have a whip round for a crutch and a parrot then? No, clean break, no problems. That crab faced Lambie been to see you? Yeah, he passed through. What did he have to say? What happened, Sergeant? Where, when, how, and why? Oh, and why didn't you? Particularly, why didn't you? Mm. Born leader of men. Then he got up to go. And just as he was leaving the ward, he remembered something. Oh, eh? By the way, Willis, how's the leg? Where's the man with the golden gloves? If you mean Chief Inspector Bullman, he's upstairs in his room. Is he in the huff? <laughs> eh? You arrive at the airport and blast him out and walk off. What I've got to say to him, I'm keeping warm. And what's keeping him, sir, is an irresistible desire to punch you in the mouth. Bowman, come on, I know you're in there. Excuse me, just what do you think you're doing? Hey, uh, a man in here might be committing suicide. Well, is that any reason why you're making enough noise to waken the dead? Hey, come on! Open up! Oh, 
Bowman! Now listen, you. Just come inside for a moment, would you? The time is 22.07 hours, right? If you say so. Yes, well, I want you to put the date and the time on each of those pages there, plus your initials. Where are we going? Back to Glasgow. We'll be on this early in the morning. Good morning, sir. Morning. You know, happened to your cooking? Somebody hit me with my backless turn. That's Glasgow, eh? Full of violent acrobats. Sausage, tomato, bacon and egg. I'm suspending you, George. Oh, no, you ain't. And it's nothing to do with what happened last night, either. Even if it had been, you still ain't putting me on the bleeding sideline. Oh, what's to stop me? This. WDC Bennett will tell you all you need to know about it. What have we got here? What you've got there, sir, is Chief Inspector Bowman's resignation. You're in charge, then? Could I have that in writing, sir? To show to my grandchildren? You'll ease with Galbraith till I can get Singer up here. It's a high-rise block for senior citizens. Who are we going to see? Oh, no woman I know. What's her name? Mark Cameron. Melissa Nice name. My big brother's famous. He plays for Patty Thistle. That's my brother. He was famous too. Did he play for Patty Thistle? No. He shot for a policeman. She's only kidding, my mother. <laughs> Oh, yeah, after Shaggy. Keep her here for a while? It's not exactly convenient at the moment. Three days. All right, but not one minute longer. You're a doll, man. And you'll behave yourself, won't you? Always do. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Do you think that was wise? Uncanny is human existence, and still without meaning. A buffoon can be fatal to it. Nietzsche. You're familiar with Nietzsche? Yeah, he used to deliver my milk. You being accosted? No, just a fellow scholar. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to run Superintendent Lambie to the airport. You don't have to report to me, yeah? Do I detect a faint aroma of self-pity? I wonder what they did when they wanted to pee. You know, the same thoughts cross my mind about chastity belts. Mm. Have you got any immediate plans? Well, I'm going to stay up here, I'll work for Scottish Independence, and go down south and have Lamberley Port. No, I meant something a bit more immediate than that. I'm going to need your help. Doing what? I'm going after Ferguson. Have you seen the state of that young girl's back? Her father's handiwork, she tells me. What do you intend to do about it? Well, I could always send for the police. Ha, ah, bloody ha. Yes. These wogs aren't the same as us, Ferguson. They've got their own ideas about bringing up children. Bloody inhuman. Shaggy Dawson's always picking up lame ducks. I'm doing her a favour, keeping the girl here. 
If anything else is to be done for her, that's up to Shaggy. I've moved her, Mella. Where to? I'm not telling you. I mean, you want to be able to tell Tarzan. You're crazed with power, Shaggy. Till we get this thing sorted out, yes. Talking of power... Everywhere I go, people are me moving from each other. That corner over there. I'll get a truss. Wear it on the outside. Oh, I should be getting this iron bars. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, Maybe if we tried it with the bloody drawers up. Good thinking, Shaggy. This one's stuck. You have a go. One more time. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. <laughs> oh, dear. Just pile them in any old towel. I'll sort them out later. What's this? What's it all about? Another. Brand new passports. Mint condition. Virginal, if you pardon the expression. This one isn't. Who the hell's Jocelyn Van Fleet? And what the hell's Tarson doing with her passport? Can I ask you something? No secrets between us, remember? What happened to your face? I was hoping you wouldn't ask that. Well, I was hoping you'd tell me. Well, that's what's known as a Glasgow farewell. You're kidding. I'm not. You know in Hawaii they hang flowers around your neck, right? Right. In Glasgow they just hang one on you. In other words, mind your own bloody business, right? In other words, yes. Yeah. <sighs> One oh. Not too happy a trip up north one hears. One hears, right? Mm. Well, that Ferguson fiasco couldn't possibly have happened at the worst moment, you know. Well, the other departments are just loving it. Oh, well, naturally. The La Rockenfort was right when he said there's always something terribly satisfying in the misfortunes of one's friends. The Home Office won't be too unhappy either. Oh, well, naturally. Axing an incompetent department. Well, that is how they will present it. I'm sending Sanger up there. Well, it's a bit late for mending fences, isn't it? The ACC up the there. The ACC up there is a bureaucratic, pompous fart. Any word about Lord Bryce Norton? No, no, I haven't been able to contact him yet. But my latest fix is, incredibly enough, that he may be in Scotland. Do you like this pink, Shaggy? No, not much. It reminds me of dental plastic. <gasps> That'll be tiresome. What all that, man? No, the bugger's too lazy to look for his key. Hey, that's coming on nicely, isn't it? Who is Jocelyn Van Fleet? Mm. Who is she? Hey, Who hey, is she? The street going by now, isn't something? Who is Jocelyn Van Fleet? Mm. We found some passport stuff, sir. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Mock. Don't give it a thought, Denzel. When the good Lord made time, he made plenty of it. What can I do for you? I haven't received last month's returns yet, Denzel. Oh, you're not worried, Mr. Mock? No, no. Just keeping an eye on my investments, that's all. The accountant's in hospital, you see. What hospital? The Western. What ward? Ten. Tell him when you see him. Why should I want to see him? I trust you, Denzel. Looking for me, Shaggy? Aye, oh, yeah. You have a private word with you? Aye. Would you excuse us for a wee minute, Denzel? Now, what can I do for you, son? Oh. oh. And what's the story? You're a pain in the arse, Tarson. Why? You took those passports to protect yourself, you see. 
Boss is only out of the room for a few minutes. That was the only time he ever left the safe open. How long had you been working for him? About two years. Had he ever threatened to kill you or anything like that? He used to beat me up. Why did you hold on to the passports? Well, I forgot all about them. Because you were no longer threatened? I suppose that was it. But your sister was threatened. Well, that was different. She was only a girl, right? And you could have prevented what happened to Shaggy's pottery. If you hadn't been so passionately in love with yourself. And what makes you so bloody damn perfect, eh? Is this all the passports that was in the safe? No, he just grabbed a few off the top bundle. I see. I'm sorry about your pottery, son. So am I. Yeah. This bow's bum pot's a right liberty taker, isn't he? Why don't you go, Mr. Moore? Aye, right. Oh, here. Give Mike a shout, son, when you get out. Tell me what to see him. Somebody here called Mike. Mr. Mochlin wants to see him. Yours to be, Mr. Mochlin. What? Well, you have got a wee job for you, Mike. just wrestling with Kant's critique of pure reason. Why is it dirty? No, just unintelligible. Yeah, well, give it a body swerve and lend me your ears. Because I'm going to tell you a real story about a character called Bose. My beautiful Rolls Royce. Proper ancient mariner, aren't you, Willie? Yeah. It's a good story, but it could use a small soup son of backup. Like this. You never used to be a grass. Why did Boaz hijack Ferguson? To get her to go after you, right? Right. You know, Willie, somehow I have the greatest difficulty in regarding that as a crime. You got all that? Enough. Fifteen minutes. If you're not out in that time, I'll be in for you. Right. Keep change. Well, you call that a tip. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's just, just take its time. Is, uh, is that what I think it is? If you're thinking it's a coffin, huh? Oh, here we are. I'm in business. Right, I'm Kate to you, then. Mind the button. All right. Okay. Oh, it's all right. Come on in here if you're coming. Oh, thanks. Which floor? Uh, 18. All the way to 20 for us, is that right? Check. Oh, don't worry, Hen, it's empty. And what happens when it isn't? Bring it down the same way. That's why the black plastic cover. Mark of respect. Mm. See, it's past winter here. Me and Connolly are practically living this lift, you know. All the old folk were dying off like flies. The old folk call us Bill and Ben the flower pot man. <laughs> 18 it is. Be seeing you, darling. Don't make it too soon. Oh. 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 anyway. <laughs> what makes you think the girl's here? Information received. Your information's duff. In that case, you'll have no objection if I search the flat. Now go on, fetch her. Thank you. She 
she in there? I could smell her perfume all over the place. You sure? I sat handcuffed to that perfume for 45 minutes, remember? Yeah, so you did. So what do we do now? Q3, Q3. Anyone prepared to talk to me? Over. Boomin. You know him? Yeah. We should have kept the girl as a hostage. There's no age limit on hostages. Ma, you're going to give a party for the neighbours. Mr. Bo speaking. I thought I distinctly requested you not to ring me at this number. Get down here, Bo's, soonest. I'm sorry I'm not able to accede to your request. Bo's, you were supposed to spring me, not get me damn near killed. I can't be held responsible for Mr. Bullman's bad driving. Get your ass down here now. The police is swarming with fuzz, but I'll fix it that they let you through. <sighs> I'm learning something new every day. For instance, that God's name is Ferguson. You'd better believe it. And here's something else you'd better believe. I know who you really are, Bose. Like I said, there's no age limit on hostages. my moment of glory. I've come to take over, George. It's nothing to do with me. Well, nobody can see you're not starting with stale. Full-scale siege. George never does anything by halves. Look at the old guy. Yeah. Somebody call Bullman. Over here, Dad. It's that mad bitch up there. Yeah? There's a guy coming through here called Boz, and you've to let him through. Did you see what she'd do if we didn't? Well, one of us will get shot. How many is she holding up there? Six. And that doesn't include the four kids. You in a hurry to get back, Dad? Dad? No. Granddad. Two, two of the kids. Uh, four kids. Bloody. Just a minute, George. I haven't got a minute. Yeah. You better take this. It's a pity your father never took a strap to you. He did. I can't make a statement. Somebody mentioned the police have guns, sir. Did the police have guns? I'm the police are here. There yeah. 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 What's that in that idea? Just an idea. Give us an idea. Gangway, gangway. Just get one of them. Come on. It's wearing bloody makeup. Meet my shield, Bose. Well, if we attack up the stairs, we'll get slaughtered, as will most of the old folk. Same if we bypass them and come back down the stairs, Adam. Well, how about both sides at once? Same opposition. And if we go up in the lift, it's suicide. The lift. That's it. You're demanding an aircraft to take you to Libya? To fly us both to Libya. Why should I want to go to Libya? Because you're washed up here. <sighs> My beautiful Rolls Royce. Ask them to post it on to you. I'll take the stairs. Take your picture. Camel. Who's Camel? That's me. Here's your body sock. Yeah, you're treating that. Are you Camel in 1805? That's me, all right. Well, this is your order, Mrs. This is some terrible mistake. Cooper, I don't make mistakes. Give me Cooper. Take that thing back from where it came from. Oh, come on, ma. You never know when a thing like that might come in handy. I wouldn't go through that again for all the tea in China. Oh, for 
three dozen plastic roses and a big chiming cloak. Hold it right there, boss. Hospital. Are you hurt? Nah. I want to see Willis. Worth a broken leg it was, seeing you come out of that big Lego building with all them senior citizens. Like a bleeding Pied Piper for geriatrics. So on the telly, did you? Where else? Go all that ACC ain't half a proper burke. Cool. Not much. Well, I'm leaving WDC Bennett to look after you. And who's watching now? The number eight Scottish rugby jersey. Any loose ends bugging you? Yeah. Passports. Well, they were stolen from the main passport office in Petty France, Westminster, April 1967. 450 of them. Wonder how much Bose made on them. Well, Bose wasn't Bose. He was Gopal Apte. Wanted for murder in Malaysia, Nepal and France. Yeah. Nasty bugger. I had a nice wee line in picking up hippies, robbing them, stealing their passports and doing them in. Jocelyn Van Fleet. That's a funny one, eh? No way he kept her passport. Ah, well met, woman. I brought some along to see you. Um, this is a... Chief Inspector Bowman, Lord Bright Norton. Chief Inspector Bowman that I have already met. Ah, yes. Yeah. Nisha. Indeed we have, sir. I'd like to speak to the Chief Inspector privately, Doctor. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Oh, yes. I owe you a deep debt of gratitude, Bowman. Sir? Jocelyn Van Fleet was my favourite granddaughter. Ah. I'm afraid I'm like many other trendy liberals. When it happens to me personally, I want to bring back hanging and flogging. Yeah. I feel a bit of a phony, really, sir. I mean, I'm getting medals for what? I get manipulated rotten by a Scots villain. A little girl runs away from home, and it all adds up to pure bleeding luck in my books. Napoleon's first requirement in the general was luck. Napoleon don't run into city. True. Incidentally, hmm? I don't think you'd need worry about Intercity's future. Oh, thank you, sir. And I've asked Superintendent Lambie to tear up your resignation, suspecting, as I do, that you'd never do that by yourself. Thank you again, sir. Uh, feel free to call on me any time you wish. Hi, George. All A okay? Yeah. Oh, we. It's just one thing. Ah! Ethan Stephen. Back to square one, Chief Inspector. Back to square one.